Good day, Joachim Kappel, I'm active in human resources consulting for about 20 years and I'd like to take the opportunity to discuss about the two instruments we basically offer, which is management appraisal and, and this is the focus of our today's presentation discussion, on executive search. I have conducted about 450 searches myself, so with my team we come to close a thousand assessments, assignments all over the past 15 to 20 years, which gives a substantial benchmark of knowledge. Importantly though, and this is my conclusion after about 20 years, when we staff a position, we start with defining the position specifications. It's not necessarily just a job description. It is to identify the key priorities in the respective position, which change subject to circumstances, economic uh, situations and uh, the whole setup of an organization and the derived competencies somebody has to have in order to succeed in the position he's stuck with. And uh, this ties in with all the other evaluation tools we have. We look very much for the soft factors. Assuming that technically qualified people will be presented to a client, we look very much into team leadership, team-centered leadership, team ability, people development, what we call emotional intelligence, self-awareness, uh, self-motivation, of course, self-regulation, in order to make sure this person has the right cultural fit for the organization. As I said before, cultural fit, emotional intelligence, is and are the prerequisites for being successful. In the process of a search, when we identify people, evaluate them, present them, before presenting them, we take pre-references to make sure we don't have some unpleasant surprise at the end. It's kind of a proof of the pudding. On the other hand, it's something you have to do and has to be, of course, completed with a full-fledged, thorough reference check before having a contract signed. Another aspect which I rate very important, we don't finish where we have hired a candidate for a client. We continue to follow up, make sure the integration process is working, and if something goes wrong, we stay there, we are responsible and we take the responsibility. And we, of course, have the guarantee to replace somebody if things fail within a certain period. But again, uh, having said that before, uh, the focus on the soft factors, which I have to admit I've only been doing for the past 10 years, ignoring them before, with my experience and the knowledge of so many organizations, I'm absolutely confident and convinced that this is the key for success. We focus on the soft factors and make sure there is the right fit in order to succeed. And as far as the scope of work is concerned, geographically it's primarily Europe and uh, in terms of industry, basically all the relevant sectors and uh, segments of modern professional life, also in the non-profit sector. So if you wish to continue this discussion, Personally, I would be delighted and I'm ready to entertain discussion at your convenience. Thank you very much. Thank you.